Good day everyone, it's Matt again from Battle Bunker TV. We're just going to do a little tutorial on resin, on what you should do, stuff to, to fix it, etc. Where you might encounter it, and yeah, how you should work with it. Now I'm not the biggest expert on resin, but i am probably use it a lot more than anyone else here. So basically, where you might find it, your forge weld stuff is all resin plastic kits, your battlefront, flames of war, tanks come in resin. Also various base companies like Battle Bits make resin bases. Now, problems you encounter with resin. It's a strange material that gets it soft when heated, so you do find problems with it sometimes. There's nothing wrong with this, it can be fixed. A lot of Forge World stuff comes like this. A lot of uh, bases just have lips around them, it's just unfortunately they, they cast like that, it's quite easy to fix and yeah it's just a tank, it's, it looks good to me <laughs> they've done a good job <laughs> so um, basically I'll show you a we've got a little Huron black art model here and you'll often find resin miniatures come like that lots of flash Lots of little extra chunky bits to cut off. Basically, this flash, you just you get a knife and you just trim it off. It's not that hard to do. Be a little bit careful on the thinner bits. And you just go like that. And it just comes off. This stuff you just you've got to know what is this is where the um, the resin's poured into the mold. So that's what these channels here are. And you can just clip them off and trim them back, and it's all good. You should also always wash resin because it has casting agents. Basically, get a tub of soapy water, toothbrush, and you just rub it over, rinse it off, and you're sweet. I've done that already with all of these. These have all been done. So, straightening resin out. You get boiling water. Be careful with this, especially if you if you kids, and you you dip it in for a bit. Okay, and you'll notice it goes soft. It's already there, starting to show. See that? It's almost like the consistency of pasta. So we can. Oh, it's starting to it's starting to get solid again. The best way to do it is you then dip it in some cold water, and it should. Harden up a bit, that's obviously not that cold that water, but but yeah, you can also you see it now starting to it's a lot harder now. That'll just make it look wonky. Okay, so that's how you straighten out resin. It looks like that, ends out like that, and that's not entirely straight, but it'll get done eventually. Bases, resin bases such as battle bits, you just wanna you need to wash these too to get rid of the casting agent off, and you just Sand the bottom till they're flat. It's quite easy to do. Now, I just realized another thing that I should have explained before. If you're ever going to sand resin or, or um, saw into it, because it leaves a very quite dangerous toxic, mar uh, toxic dust, you want to use a respirator or a gas mask uh, or a face mask. So, I've got here, I've got just a little 3M. Respirator, you don't need anything this fancy, you can just get one of the little dust masks. Not as effective, but yeah, this will this will work perfectly. So we're just gonna sort add uh, sand these down. Ah, painting. Basically, the reason we wash everything is so that when you paint it, you've removed all the casting casting agent. So you don't end up with strange weird marks when you paint. Because it, it has strange effects with the paint. You also want to prime resin so that it paints properly. You can just use your average GW undercoat, but you don't get as good effects. You'll, you'll be able to notice the difference between the plastic parts and the resin parts, and it, the paint doesn't go on afterwards as well. Whereas if you've primed it, it gives it a nice good base to stick the for the paint to stick down to. Ow. I'm pretty sure that's nearly all of it. 
lastly, when gluing resin, you can't use plastic glue. It won't work. I, I know I've heard of people where it somehow randomly does work, but I wouldn't use it. You're better off using a super glue. Something like Zappa Gap or the GW stuff or Army Painter stuff. And yeah, that's that's how you glue it together. Also it doesn't if you're pinning stuff, make sure you wanna be careful of the dust as well. I think that's about it. Hope this has been a help. It's Matt for Battle Bunker TV. Working with resin.